Don't change that station while we pause for a brief commercial break. This is TomorrowPictures.tv the story is in the telling. It is not at all easy to explain why you should perceive the motion picture screen to be in front of you. Images, nothing but images, are given to us by the eye. No one can tell from an image where the thing is. If I look at you through a tube this way, and then again this way, the picture in my eye is the same. Nevertheless, this way I see you in front of me, and this way on my right. How is this possible? because I feel at once the different positions of my head and eyes in relation to the rest of my body. What we take to be seeing really depends on another sense, the body sense or touch. In early childhood it was hard to learn to coordinate seeing and touching. They cooperate with one another if one is not light-headed, but a few drinks are all that is needed to break up the proper coordination of feeling and seeing. The simplest way to break up the cooperation of seeing and touching is a mirror. Looking into a mirror, one sees in front what is really behind, and therefore one reaches in the wrong direction. But the sensation of touch produces a kind of reversal of seeing. Here is a wet sponge slapped on his back. Now he feels as if he had eyes in the back of his head. It is similar when you feel things in this way. In this case, the fingers, the sense organs, are in front of you. But nevertheless, the touched object is immediately perceived as behind. Now for the second experiment. The eyes perceive right and left with the help of the body sense. A mirror prism like this makes a world in which right and left are reversed. Moreover, everything tilts when you turn your head. But with other things, one notices the reversal from side to side at once. For example, with printing. Are you prepared to wear these right-left reversing spectacles for several weeks without interruption? From now on, never go without this device. It looks so without the spectacles. But with the spectacles, the cactus appears to be on the other side. Ouch! <laughs> Have a glass of water. Ah, now he tries another technique. He controls the movement of his hand with his eyes. This is probably the solution. Aha, he knows how to drink. For this, the spectacles do not give him any trouble. 
but he must see the table on the wrong side. No matter. Next, this problem. Draw a line to number two and then to number three. Above and below is easy as you would expect. But when it comes to right and left, everything is badly mixed up. In a parallel experiment, a hen can be made to wear the spectacles. She cannot catch the pictures of things. They evade her every time she moves her head. Here is the subject in his everyday activity. But he does not give up. From the very beginning, he tries to practice. One has to learn to see the hand where one feels it. And also the whole body as represented by a shadow image. Now he begins to get it, for the ball. Exercises like these are the road to success. After 14 days, he can manage street traffic. What has the hen learned in the same interval? Without practicing nothing, she still chases the elusive images. The man, however, has mastered the world. The landscape is now stable when he moves his head, but is still reversed. However, this can be remedied. If a steep slope has to be climbed, he must pay attention to the hands and feet. The way it looks and the way it feels then cease to be contradictory. But letters and words still remain unfamiliar. After two months, however, the end is accomplished. Observe that he now can see things perfectly correctly. Now let us discover how things look to this man when the spectacles are removed. Which of the two figures corresponds to the arm movement? The triangle. With the naked eye, he now sees things reversed. But this apparent reversal does not last long. Now we come to the third possibility of reversing the world, up and down. Here it is fundamentally different. These three men, despite the positions of their heads, all see things right side up. Right side up is determined by the gravity of the earth, not the position of the body. But this changes if a mirror device is worn, which reverses the direction of up and down. Now, the sitting man sees everything upside down, and the man who is hanging head down sees everything right side up. What will a man do if he has to fence in this situation? The results of all these tests are recorded. After five days of practice, he reacts correctly almost 100% of the time. But even so, he still perceives his fencing partner as upside down. Can this also be remedied? Certainly. Throughout the whole body, the pull of gravity operates. All that is necessary is to emphasize it. So. Yes, you held your hands upward. What does this playing card look like? Oh, I see both of the heads right side up. The old way of seeing and the new way are still in conflict. Practice in which one feels not only touch but also the force of gravity are especially helpful in bringing about upright perception. Now, 
we make a test to find out whether he sees correct. Please read. Uh, number one is an M and uh, two is a W. Oh, think of gravity. Oh, oh no. Uh, one's a W and two's an M. After another week, when correct perceiving has been achieved, he is ready for the end of the experiment. The mirror is secretly removed from the device. The eyes are free. And now for the big test. Well, now things are upside down. This is a room which is really upside down, including the furnishings. He had learned to see it right side up. He has learned to live in a topsy-turvy world. Only the force of gravity has shown him how to do so. But it took time. Now the experiment is over. Except for a few bruises, there are no serious after effects. Do you agree now that it is not at all self-evident that you should see the motion picture screen to be in front of you? L.A. back in your own backyard. Tomorrow Pictures. It happened in Monterey. The story is in the telling. This is TomorrowPictures.tv. This is TomorrowPictures.tv.